Hey, what's up YouTube? Dr. Cloud here, welcoming you back to episode 7 of the Pokemon Emerald Randomized Nuzlocke. And if you notice, we are no longer in Slaveport, we are now in Petalburg. And that's because I figured we can go ahead and come back here and get an encounter and see if it's worth adding to the team. So, let's go ahead and get that done and then we'll continue on with the main game. And I kind of hope I actually can get an encounter here. I actually might not be able to, and I might have wasted time. Oh. Slowpoke had me doubting. Um. I actually might add Slowpoke. Because, honestly, Psychic could be pretty useful. Slowpoke. He catches prey by dipping its tail in the water at the side of a river, but it often forgets what it's doing and spends the entire day just loafing at the water's edge. Isn't that pleasant? Kind of terrible. Kind of reminds me of the movie like Fifty First Dates, because like she's just always forgetting what she does each day. And the name we're looking at is Scarlet. Kinda like that name though. And honestly, I do want to add Slowpoke to the team. Which I was kind of hoping to be like last episode. And I wouldn't have to do any real layout changes. But, I think it's worth it. Oh, and if you guys are lost where we are right now, I will link the playlist in the description below. And please catch up, and if you enjoy the videos, please leave a like. Alright, and now let's make our way back to Slateport. And... Try to finish off those trainers before we move on. Before we do that, I need to get Scarlet the experience share. I honestly kind of want to jump into the story, but I kind of feel like I might need the levels, but honestly, I did kind of overlevel. So who really knows? I'm kind of glad they didn't have the boat trip be really slow. Because then we all just wish we could speed up through it all the time. Also, I kind of feel like Mr. Briny is an underused character. I feel like he could be really interesting. Like, whenever they did the remakes, I don't really remember what they did with Mr. Briny, honestly. He didn't doesn't feel that important. I actually can't remember what they did with him. I feel like he'd be a really fun character to have voice acting for, if they ever decide to do that. Me. Oh wait, real quick, I want to see if Slowpoke can learn Psychic. Nope. 
That's right, it's bullet, see? You gotta remember that. Oh yeah, and the wing attack was steel wing. So, it's basically any flying type, so it really didn't switch that much. Which is a little disappointing. This feels like what they would normally have. Mm. I know wing goal gets wing attacks, so we're just gonna double up into him. Pretty sure nature power and sand will do earthquake if I remember right. So I'm trying to avoid that right now. That was really easy to get up to 20. I just realized I haven't even looked at what Scarlet knows. Yawn, tackle, growl. Adamant nature too. Adamant nature, alright. That's going to be fun. Kinda planned on making Slowpoke a special attacker, but I guess not. I really dig the battle music. Just that intro sounds really good. Honestly, I don't think either of them are very big threats. Oh man, look out, that tentacle got helping handed. I'm really afraid now. Helping hand supersonic. Maybe it'll last longer now. Yeah, sure. Can hear whatever thing is coming out with Earthquake. I also just remember that Earthquake only hits the other side in this generation. I got like the new game mindset. It's actually gonna be really good. If I hit, I guess. Ooh, I was right too. Oh, no, nope, that was wrong. Zero Quakes is one of those exception moves. Wow. Base team. I don't know why I'm just now realizing this. But honestly, how many females do I have on my team? Four. It's honestly, higher than I thought. Honestly, guys. Right. <clears throat> I think we are ready to go in and start the team 
Aquas Tower. Good, it's been good, come on. Um, I mean, recycling's not bad actually. I could give it to Dugong. You got citrus berries. It's really not that bad actually. Yeah, sure, I'll teach it. Let's see how useful this is gonna be. I'm kind of curious. I don't have such grades yet. A bit early to teach that then. Alright, let's go ahead and get up in here. Talk to Captain Stern. Yes, if you're looking for Stern, that would be me. Uh, those must be the parts I ordered for Mr. Stone of Devon. Thank you, that's great. We can prepare our exp expedition now. Hold it, we'll take those parts. What? Who are you people? We're Team Aqua. Our boss wants those parts. Shut your yap before we mobile. You ever wonder how, like, 10 year old kids get wrapped up in these kinds of. Okay, that's just Aptos. <sighs> Feel like Aptos starts with Drill Pack? We're gonna get out of here. There we go. 
Big Tear is actually coming in handy. That's crazy. Jeez. Alright, let's hope these other Grunt doesn't have something crazy. Not prepared for this. I don't feel like I can sand tune, but I'll play it safe here. I'm way over leveled for this right now. I honestly probably won't need to grind for a little while. Scarlet's getting levels. Ninjas? Let Nancy fight. I wish Nancy could learn wing attack. That'd be really funny, actually. Kind of like how, uh, cro Crocodile? Yeah, Crocodile can learn Aerial Ace. Oh, we dodge a win. Fine, got nothing. You got it right here. Nothing. And you're gone. They actually have really good mom though. Or grunt. And then the evil leader is gonna have like Caterpie. Now what? If we don't get those parts, we're in for it. Uh, I didn't count on being meddled with by some meddling kid. They used meddling twice in that sentence. I came to see what you were what was taking you so long to snatch those parts. And you, simps. Simps? Simps are held up by a mere child. But we're Team Aqua, and we love the sea. And I'm Team Aqua's leader. Archie will make you inferior with us. Interfere with us. No, you can't be. You're not one of Team Magma. Wait, that can't be right. You're not dressed for the part. Pokemon, people, all it depends on the sea. So Team Aqua is dedicated to the expansion of the sea. Don't you agree? We're taking. What we are doing is a magnificent undertaking. Ah, fine. You're still too young to understand our noble objective. But I warn you, don't even consider interfering with our plans again. The consequence will cost you dearly. And don't you forget it. Mmm. You're... Oh, you're okay. Ah, uh, okay. You're a doc. Anyway, that was a tense situation. Thank you for saving us. Ah, yes. I almost forgot. I almost forgot that you brought those parts from Devon. Oops, there's no time to lose. I have to set out on our ocean floor expedition really soon. Thanks again, but now I've got to go. Feel free to wander around and check our facility, though. At least he heals you, that's nice. Alright. Sorry, is it done? Look at Venus. Venus is gonna finish, it, finish up pretty soon here. Oh boy, Scott's back. Um... Huh. I'm glad I met you somewhere before. I've been just asking, have I introduced myself to you yet? If not, my name is Scott. I just saw a team Aqua running from here like they were stunned. Let me guess, you drove them away. Hmm. Just maybe. This trainer. Alright. I think you're going to become a good friend. So let's register each other in our Pokénabs. What? What I'd like to do is tag along with you, but I do want to keep an eye on you. And keep an eye on the talents of other people, too. 
So I'll be off to Rome other towns for a bit more. Alright, that was fun. So now... I don't really know why I ran in here. I don't really need to. Um, I guess we're gonna go ahead and go up here. And try to get our next encounter. And Route 110 says that's a magic car. <laughs> Alright. I mean, it could be a good later game. Not too mad. Uh, I could probably throw a ball at this one. So anyways, uh, question of the day. What was your first job? And I'm gonna add a little bit to it. And how did you get fired from it if you did? So, my first job was a retail job at Kroger. And, first of all, retail is horrible. Like, I don't think anyone should ever work retail. But I guess someone has to. But I think it's just awful for a first job. But I think it's really horrible because of the bosses and the way they treat you. Because they just feel like they're so much higher than you. And in this case, they literally were because they were on the second floor. But um, I actually got fired for not showing up to a shift. Um, because I decided to help out a friend who was having a funeral for a family member and I got fired for not showing up and honestly I didn't mind it because if that's how they fire people then I don't want to work for them all right I'm not gonna be able to catch this thing I have to weaken it Let's see if we can catch it before I use another Astonish. Because honestly, if I use one, I'm probably going to kill it. There we go. Okay. I got another female. Man, if I did a soul link with someone, I would never be able to get the mail. And we sit here forever trying to encounter stuff. Alright. So our female name is going to be... Okay. Uh, real quick. It is 20 muscles a week, so it is easily washed up by currents in places where water pools. You can see many Magikarp deposited there by the flow. Alright, so we're going to be calling this Magikarp Shanta. I like all these unique names we're getting, it's just like names I never see. Plus I'd be using a generator. Definitely not going to have Magikarp on the team right now. If I end up losing anyone, like my main water type. Oh, there's Birch. Alright, here we go, Bear Girls. Oh, Doc! Imagine seeing you here. And where might my may be? Oh, I see. You two are running separately. Well, that's fine. Oh, yes. I heard that your Pokenav has a match call system installed. Well, then. I should register you in my Pokenav as well. That way, when we're part, I can read your Pokedex any time. I don't know why you didn't give me that feature originally. Like, you, here's the Pokenav, but you don't have all the features. Doc, oh. please keep an eye out for my mate. Well, I better get going to see you again. I don't know why you just couldn't like try to call me like everyone else does. They just automatically assume I have that feature and just call me, and then I get their numbers. But not him. Oh, I can do the trick house. Yes, I love the trick house. 
Make sure I come back to it a couple times after we get certain eight gems. I just really enjoy it. They're not really much of puzzles, but they're fun. Wow. That is a team. Uh huh. So nature power is completely useless. Um I I honestly don't think these are a good mod to have out right now. I'm gonna go ahead and switch them for turn one though. Wow. Get the double flinch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just Nuzleaf isn't gonna work out here. The Surya is gonna come in. And probably carry. Hopefully, explode flinches again. <laughs> That's great. And explode has berry. Naturally. Just be more annoying. <laughs> Look at Surya. Taking these beasts down. I love the torture line so much. They're just such a great set of designs, honestly. Let me tell you, whenever I searched, whenever I was looking at Humbuskin, there are a lot of uh, images of how he's designed that are not the most appropriate. And I was a little sad how they butcher his designs. I mean, the only thing that's really better than the Torchic line is the Trico line, by my opinion. Not everyone agrees with me, but I definitely think so. Especially, like, ending line, like, Septile is just so great. I personally don't think his Mega Form for Septile did him as much justice as it could have. But, still pretty cool, but in that case, I think Blaziken's is cooler. But you know, that's just me. You guys something in the comment section down below, which one you like better, but it doesn't change my opinion. Awesome, Scarlet's making her way. I try to bring her up, um, do a little bit of training up to 20 once I have everyone else there, and she learns a stab move like Water Gun, that'd be super nice. Could get another encounter. Yeah, let's go for that. I'm gonna go for encounter. Oop. I'm trying to go ahead and get this encounter, and then we will end up the episode. But first, I have to get past these few trainers. Oh yeah, Nancy's got this. Let's go, with Nancy. Bigger off this. Power. Every stab moves just so much power. Oh, Selby, please. Nancy's got this. Gonna one shot this thing. Got nothing, Selby. <laughs> wow. Besides a lot of bulk. Jeez. And recover. Uh, Alright. Let's get this crit. All these moves are so interesting. It's like Heal Bell, Confusion, Recover, and maybe like Ancient Power, something like that. But this is just going to be kind of annoying right now. Cause honestly, I don't think it, anything at Selby too hard on my team. But maybe Mawile with like Astonish and Bite. 
but I feel like um, Selby has better special defense than regular defense, so it's not really doing me justice. That's gonna be so annoying. Ah, uh, come on, where's my crit? My guy. My girl. My bad. Where's that crit? I might need to look at other options here. Yeah. Nancy's not nailing that crit like I need her to. Alright, I'm gonna snap our confusion land this crit right now. Nope. Alright, yeah, I'm gonna have to switch out if Nancy doesn't go down right here. Okay. Uh. Yeah, that or fat. I think I'm gonna go with fat. Fat has better special ball. Oh no, I, I could have gone into uh, Nuzly. Because uh, Zelbu can't even touch her. Him. I think it's him. No, her. Man, could have got a really good experience for her. Solvi is so trolly. Uh. There we go. That was such a waste of time. Alright, we're gonna get this encounter though. Can I just come down here and not do it? Just to be sure. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up Nancy. Oh, cool. Nope. I was just kind of hoping he wasn't a trainer. Come on. Alright. Let me take the Bulbasaur. Put it with a fake out. I'm curious, what does it turn into? Still a swift, okay. Swift's more powerful than pound, that's the best move that I've got, so. Why is everything holding a berry? Not everything has to hold a berry, people. I don't know if it's the randomizer giving the warm berries, but I don't think. If they could all be randomized to Warren Berries, so... Let's dodge this fisherman up here. Get this encounter. Right here. my sweet spot. There we go. My sweetie spot says... Ninjask, okay. Another female. Just saying. I don't mind it. Hopefully fake out doesn't kill. Cool. Really interesting. I'm kind of glad it's not a Shedinja, though. Shedinja is just too risky. Easy money. Alright. Because it darts about vigorously at high speeds, it is very difficult to see. Hearing its distinct cries for too long introduces a headache. Interesting. 
and ooh. Her name is Nella. I like that. Alright guys. If you enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe. And if you wish to know when these videos go up, I will link my Twitter in the description below. Have yourselves a good day.